YouTube playlists are great for customizing your channel for your audience, but if you set them up right, they can also help you get found in YouTube search and start generating a ton of extra views with just a few simple tweaks. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a playlist on YouTube and how to optimize those new playlists to get more views fast and easy. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Having clear and organized YouTube playlists can easily make your YouTube channel look more professional so that your content is more accessible and a lot easier for people to binge helping you increase those views and watch time. But not only that, with a few simple tweaks and some keyword optimization, they also provide an awesome opportunity to rank your content, to help you generate more views and subscribers with very little additional work. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a YouTube playlist from start to finish, and exactly how to optimize your new playlist so that they can get found in search in addition to your videos, meaning more views on YouTube. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll also share with you a simple way that you can take all of this to the next level and start generating views from other people's content using playlists as well. Okay, so you've got your channel set up, you've got your videos, now we're gonna take a look at playlists. So you wanna log into your YouTube Studio dashboard area, scroll down here to playlists. And this is where you can make and modify and control all of your playlists. So you can see all the playlists that we've got here, we have quite a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new playlist. So we hit up here on new playlist. And this is where you wanna give your playlist a title. Now this isn't just playlist number one, playlist number two, or some sort of generic title. You really wanna give this some thought, just the same as you would with the title of a YouTube video. You wanna be treating this exactly the same. So ideally here you're doing some keyword research or some keyword optimization to be able to help YouTube rank this playlist in search for the specific title or keywords that you're using or key phrases that you're using in relation to the content that's going to go in it. So you can see in our examples here, we've got YouTube for business, how to grow a business online with YouTube was the rest of this one. We've also got how to set up lighting for video, how to make an Instagram video. We've even got how to make Instagram video edits because those two are two different search terms that people searching for Instagram video edits might be looking for something a little bit different to just Instagram video. Could be around filming or audio or a lot more than just the edits. So let's just do one here, how to grow on YouTube. Now here we get to choose if it's going to be a public playlist, if it's unlisted or private. Again, the same settings that you have if you're gonna create a video. So we're gonna go public and hit create. Now, if you wanna make changes to the title of your playlist, you can just hit edit here and you can customize that up. Again, ideally doing that research first, adding those optimized keywords in there. Down here, you've got the ability to share out your playlist. There's more options under here to collaborate. So you can set this playlist so that other people, collaborators, can add videos to your playlist as well. We'll leave that one off for now. But you can also access some more playlist settings in here, things like allowing embedding. So you can actually embed this playlist onto your website or onto your blog. So anyone that clicks to watch one of your videos is then going to autoplay the next video in that sequence or in your playlist after finishing the one that they've clicked. And you can also set here so that the new videos that you add to the playlist down the track are going to be featured at the top or positioned at the top of that playlist. And under advanced settings here, this is gonna take you back to the older interface right now, but this is going to give you some more settings here. And a lot of the settings here are duplicate to what we just saw. So the ability public, unlisted, private, add your videos to the top of the playlist, or you can actually get even more control over how your videos are featured and listed out. You can either position them manually in there, sort them by date, date added to the playlist, or date published on YouTube, or your most popular ones could go to the top. Now, one setting in here that's worth noting is this set as official series for this playlist. So what this does is if you're creating a series of videos that are meant to be watched in order, so watch episode one or video one, then video two, then video three, if you check this, then this will become that official order for that playlist. But do note, as it says on the screen there, that a video cannot appear in more than one series playlist. So once you tick this, this becomes a series playlist or the official series playlist for that content. So videos themselves can appear in multiple playlists, but they can't appear in multiple series playlists. So if you're creating episodic content or content where you watch people to watch video one, then video two, video three, or part one, two, three, then you're likely gonna wanna click this one. 
You can also set up some rules here under auto add. So if you add in some key tags or titles and those sorts of things, so the title contains these keywords when you're adding a new video to YouTube to automatically add them into this playlist. So you can start to automate some of this stuff here as well. And then under collaborate, this was the same setting that we had to enable other people to add videos to your playlist as well. So we're back out of this now, we'll go cancel and we're back to our playlist page here. So the next thing you wanna do here is add in a description for your playlist. Again, just the same as you are for your YouTube videos, you want to have a description. And ideally you're again adding in some of those keywords and key ranking indicators to help YouTube rank your videos but you still wanna make it human friendly or human readable at this point as well, and not just load it with random keywords and tags. So it could be something like, wanna learn how to grow your YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, could be some keywords. Again, you're gonna to wanna to do that research first. This playlist is the ultimate resource to help you get more subscribers on YouTube and grow your audience. And again, I'll be sharing with you our resource on how you can learn this stuff to get the right keywords in your videos, in your tags, in your descriptions a little later in this video. So we're gonna go ahead, click save. So now it's time to add some videos into the playlist. So for this, now that we have the playlist created, we can just go back to the studio dashboard where we have our list of videos, which is under videos here on the left. And we can just select the videos that are going to be relevant for that playlist. So for us here, we might go increase watch time, best time to upload. You might also go how to pick your channel name and how to manage your YouTube comments like a pro. So obviously you go through, you, you pick the videos that are related to it. Then you come up the top here, add to playlist. Then you can either scroll through and find your new playlist or you can search for it at the top. So it was called how to grow on YouTube. That was the temporary one we set up. So we'll hit on this and hit save. Now we'll come back to our playlist here. I'll refresh this. And here is our playlist. And you can see it's actually used the thumbnail from the first video there. But if you wanna reorder this, we can just pick them up and move them around and create the order for the playlist that you would like. Now, a big advantage of creating a playlist like this is that not only are you able to curate your content to make it easy for people to find related videos on this topic from you, but you can also rank your playlist in search as well. So if we put your mouse over the video here, down the bottom, you can actually see that this actually has its own URL. Or if I click on the playlist here, We'll just pause that guy. But you can see it's got its own unique link, exactly the same as a video does. So YouTube treats a playlist almost the same as it treats a standalone video. And if we switch back to the default view here, you can see over this side here, here is our playlist list. So you can see which video is gonna be played next in case your viewers wanna skip ahead to the next one. Depending on how you've set it up, your viewers may also have the ability to loop it or to shuffle the playlist as well, to play them in a random order. But the fact that a playlist is treated just like a YouTube video, that's where it's so important to get that title and the description optimized up properly so that you can actually start to get these playlists ranking and showing up in YouTube search as well. So just to give you an example here, I'm gonna jump into an incognito window so that we're not signed in. I'm gonna go over to YouTube. I'm gonna run a search here, best gear for video editing. So you can see here, you've got your normal search results that come up. You've got an ad, you've got a few videos. There's one of ours in here that's featured pretty close to the top. If we keep coming down, you can see here, we have a playlist that is showing up in search results for this specific search term, best gear for video editing. And there's 10 videos in there. Actually, we're also the one below it here as well. But let's see what those 10 videos are. So we'll click view full playlist. And here is our playlist with everything related to best gear for video editing. We'll back out of that now, we'll come back up the top and let's go best Facebook live gear. Again, one of our videos is showing up in search results here, but just down a few, we also have one of our playlists ranking in there as well for best Facebook live gear gear. This is something that is overlooked by so many people and it really gives you a massive advantage to not just get your videos showing up once in search for the actual video themselves, but also to get your content featured, having it included in playlists as well. Now, some more examples for you are on Nick Nimmin's channel. We just clicked on playlists and you can see the amount of playlists that he has in there as well. YouTube growth tips, YouTube training, step-by-step -step guides, YouTube tools. 
So this is something that he is leveraging as well. And another great example of someone who uses playlists well is Sean from Think Media. You can see that he's created playlists for all the different types of content that he is creating. Best budget lighting for video, how to get more views on YouTube, how to make custom thumbnails, branding tips. So if we open up this one, personal branding tips, we'll pause the ad, but you can see up here, he's got curated content from both his video influencers channel and also his Think Media channel. So now that you're up to speed with playlists, I'm gonna share with you a bit of a pro tip when it comes to playlists. And that is that you can link to other people's content, other people's videos from within your playlist as well. So add their videos to your playlist. What that's gonna do is two things. First off, it's going to create a great experience for anyone who is watching your videos through your playlist. If you're linking to other people's content that is related and is obviously a good video as well, that you think if they liked yours, they might also like this other video as well to help them with whatever that playlist is about or the type of content that's in it, then that is a value add for the person who is watching. And the benefits of that being they have a good experience with your content and they're likely going to stick around because you're linking them to related good content, which is on the topics or the types of videos that they are there right there at that moment to watch on YouTube. And this is also gonna help increase their session time to which you're attributing to. You're helping them stay on YouTube longer and consume more content on YouTube because you're putting related content, good content in front of them as well. So that's the first thing, but the other thing that this does is it sends all the right indicators through to YouTube, telling YouTube that whoever is watching these other people's videos, that would also be the perfect audience or the perfect fit for your content. So it ties them together, it links them together as related content. So all of this really plays back into putting your best foot forward, doing all those things that you can do to help YouTube feature your content in front of the right people at the right time. So linking it to other people's related content and also making it easy for viewers to consume your videos and other people's related content, keeping them on the platform, these are sending great indicators through to YouTube. Now there's been a few times in this video where I've mentioned our YouTube ranking guide, which is linked on screen now. This is the ultimate guide to help you find high ranking, low competition search terms and keywords to help get your videos to the top of YouTube and Google. This is the process that we follow. Click the link to download your copy now because this stuff is also gonna help you with your playlist strategy as well. I'll see you in the next one.